Hello! As you may know, the supposed Anime Adventures 2.0 called Anime Odyssey just released yesterday. And the release was extremely horrible. Let's talk about it. First things first. Everyone on Discord was pressuring the owner to release the game faster. So that's why it went horribly wrong. Or it was probably because Vanguards was about to release and people wouldn't have played this game if Vanguards was here. So without further ado, let me talk about how bad the release was. This game was supposed to be a one-to-one -one copy of Anime Adventures. But bro, ah hell nah, they did not even cook. First off, the summoning animation was so bad. Well, not really that bad, but it looked like a PowerPoint presentation and the summon had so much delay. Here, check it out for yourself. Second thing, like bro, the quests didn't even work. Did the testers even do their job? Like bro, this was really disappointing. How are you gonna have over 1,000 plus people with early access complaining about the quests not working probably every single day and you still release the game without fixing the bug? That's freaking insane, bro. And while playing the game, some of the enemies would just randomly fly off the map. Also, sometimes I couldn't even click on my unit to upgrade it. Oh, Odyssey's run animation is very goofy. To sum it all up, basically, the release was just horrible, filled with bugs, glitches, and more. Not gonna lie. This game had massive potential. I would say that it would have needed at least one or two more weeks of development. The community pressuring the owner to release the game faster and faster didn't help at all. And now that it is released, they are complaining about all of the bugs and how the game sucks, even though they wanted the game to be released as soon as possible. This wasted all of this game's potential. And now, we got people comparing this game's release to Anime Clash's release. Ah, hell nah, bro. Anime Odyssey release was bad but comparing it to the most fraudulent anime game in history, also known as Fraud Clash, is way too far. But still, it was the owner's fault for deciding to release the game at the worst time possible. They also said that all bugs from early access would be gone, but it released, and I can confirm you that none of them were gone. These developers really gotta step up their game, bruh. They really stole one of the best tower defense game's assets, made a cheap copy with tons of bugs, and tried to release it thinking that it would be good. Instead, they are getting hated on by every YouTuber and every community member. On top of all of this, they decided to delay the game once again due to a data loss issue that you could lose your gems According to their information, the game should be back with all bugs fixed and a summer event. But, oh nah. The community was so mad with this decision after String promised to get the game back up by today. It got so bad to the point they had to lock every ch- Well, that's all I have to say for today. Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video. Goat Red out.